Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1602, a shower curtain. This particular item falls under the object class of safe, so don't worry, it's not going to cause any major containment breaches. Let's dive in and see what makes this shower curtain so special. SCP-1602, also known as a shower curtain, displays anomalous properties only when it is unfolded. Therefore, it must be folded at least five times when not in use for testing purposes. During testing or cleaning, a minimum of three personnel must be present in the room with SCP-1602. The item is currently stored at Storage Site 49 in a standard containment locker. Any researchers looking to conduct further tests with SCP-1602 must obtain written approval from a Level 3 staff member before removing it from containment. In the event that another individual enters the room while secure containment procedures, 1602-A is in the process of restraining a subject, both secure containment procedures, 1602-A and any physical evidence of its existence will instantly disappear. Secure containment procedures, 1602 will then return to its inactive state. If not interrupted, secure containment procedures, 1602 a will proceed to restrain the subject and forcibly pull them behind secure containment procedures 1602. Instances of secure containment procedures 1602 A have consistently demonstrated the ability to outpace, overpower, and subdue subjects using non-lethal methods. Once the subject has been taken behind secure containment procedures 1602, Secure Containment Procedures 1602-A will return Secure Containment Procedures 1602 to its open position before returning to its dormant state. Security personnel will terminate instances of SCP-1602-B after researchers have gathered enough data, preserving all remains in storage. In 10% of tests with D-Class personnel, the subject reappeared unharmed with no memory of their abduction. In the remaining tests, SCP-1602 spontaneously reactivated and generated an instance of SCP-1602-B. Instances of SCP-1602-B could easily be terminated with a standard firearm. SCP-1602 was retrieved from a hotel in South Dakota and was initially mistaken for an independent anomaly. However, further examination revealed its true nature, leading to a rewrite of its documentation. During testing, one subject confessed to coercing his girlfriend into having an abortion, expressing regret. Another subject had a history of bulimia and self-image disorders and exhibited high levels of anxiety during testing. A high-ranking employee expressed frustration over his estrangement with his family. The testing resulted in the emergence of instances of SCP-1602-A and SCP-1602-B, each with unique and disturbing characteristics. Despite the use of firearms, SCP-1602-A and SCP-1602-B were found to be resistant to damage. Subsequent tests and observations are still ongoing. <laughs>